Welcome back to Mathwino. We have to solve for the positive integers a, b, and c from this system of equations. a, b then plus c is equal to 2023 and a, b, c is equal to 2022. Hmm. Left hand side. Complicated. Right hand side. Huge numbers. So, I have a check. And please, please, please use it. Now, observation. A times b then plus c. A times b then times c. There is the same thing in these two equations. What is it? Of course, it is a times b. Ah, a times b then plus c. A times b then times c. Hmm. What's our check? Of course, substitution. Let A times B be equal to T, for example. The pen is too thick. However, I can do nothing about it. Two equations. Let's sort them. The first one. The second one. Now, these two equations turn into equations about t and c. Of course, our first equation will turn into this form. A times b is t, so it is t plus c. The result, 2023. The second equation will be t times c, the multiplication of them. It is 2022. Certainly, t and c are also positive integers. The relationships of t and c are solved. Of course, what should you do? Multiplication, addition. Which is better? Of course, we all like plus. So now, from the first equation, t plus c is equal to 2023, we can get, we can transform it into this form. c is equal to 2023 minus t, and then we can substitute this formula or this result into our second equation. Then, the second equation will become an equation about t, and it will be a quadratic equation. So then, of course, t times two thousand twenty three minus t is equal to 2022. Now, this equation, how to solve? Transformation is the only thing that we can do. Here is 2023 times t minus t squared. Then we can subtract 2022 from the both sides, and then this equation appears. The coefficient of t squared, it is negative 1. We don't like. Positive 1 is the best choice. Then, what should we do? Of course, we can multiply by minus 1 on the both sides, and then this equation will become t squared minus 2023 times t, and then plus 2022 is equal to 0. So what should we do? By using the formula, it's not a good choice. I have another fantastic trick. Factorization. Have you thought up? t squared minus 2023 times t and then plus 2022. How can I factorize this polynomial? Now, we should find two numbers 
whose multiplication is 2022 and addition is negative 2023. Of course, these two numbers are very, very easy to find. They are, of course, negative 1 and negative 2022. Therefore, the left hand side can be factorized into this form t minus 1 then times t minus 2022. The right hand side is 0. 0, 0, I like it. And the left hand side is the multiplication. Oh, I'm so glad, and you're so glad as well. Why? Since we will solve this question successfully. Of course, how many cases do we have? Two. T minus one is equal to zero. If you can solve this equation, you are a hero. Of course, it is very easy to solve. T is equal to one is the root. If t is equal to 1, then, of course, c is equal to 2023 minus 1. So, the value of c it is 2023 minus 1, 2022. And the values of a and b. In this case, what's the value of a times b? Of course, a times b, it is t. That means, I'm going to write it here. a b, it is 1. Since a and b are both positive integers, so the only possibility is a and b are both equal to 1. This is the first case. And the second case will be much more complicated. For a second case, t minus 1 is equal to 0, and the root is, ah, sorry, t minus 1, I'm mad, I'm not glad. Of course, t minus 2022, so what should you do about it? I can do nothing about it. Of course, I can do something about it. I have to correct it. I'm so glad, I'm too glad, and I made a mistake. So in this case, t is equal to 2022, and then what does it mean? Of course, it means a times b, it is 2022. Now, we can solve for the value of c first. Of course, c is equal to 1, since it is 2023 minus 2022, plus 1, of course it is. And a times b, oh, it is 2022. We know that the factorization of the prime factors of it is 2 times 3 times 300. 37. We have to find two numbers, two positive integers, and their multiplication is 2022. How many possibilities are there? Of course, 1 times 2022, 2 times 3 times 337, it is 1011, and 3 times 674. 6 then times 337. And we'll change the orders. 2022 then times 1. It's also okay. 1011 then times 2. 674 then times 3. And the last one is 337 then times 6. So now, the solution pairs of A, B, C is, the first one is 1, 1, 
2022. And the last eight pairs, you should write them yourself. Just as a practice or an exercise. Do you get the method and trick? Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.